गुरुर ब्रह्मा गुरुर विष्णु गुरुर देवो महेश्वरा गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्मा तस्मे श्री गुरुवे नम तस्मे श्री गुरुवे नम तस्मे श्री गुरुवे नम चलिए जयकारा लगाते हैं श्री गुरुदेव जी का बोले समर्थ सदगुरुदेव संत श्री रामलाल जी त्याग की जय 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 बोलो शिव अवतारी महायोगी बाबा श्री गंगाई नाथ की जय जय बोलो दशम अवतार कल की अवतार की जय 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 बोलो सनातन धर्म की जय 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 बोलो पलाना धाम की जय 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 बोलो जाम सर धाम की जय बोलो काजलवास धाम की जय जय बोलो गोरक्ष धाम की जय जय श्री गुरुदेव जय श्री दादा जय श्री जय श्री दादा जय श्री दादा गुरुदेव जय माधि शक्ति जय श्री दादा गुरुदेव जय माधि शक्ति जय श्री गुरु माँ चलिए अपना माइक बंद कर लीजिए सब लोग गूगल मीट पे तो आज से फ्रॉम टुडे ऑनवर्ड्स फ्राइडे सैटरडे एंड संडे दिस थ्री डेज इन तीन दिन इंग्लिश में सत्संग होगा दिस सत्संग विल बी डन इन थ्री दिस इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज दिस इज बिकॉज ये इसलिए है कि सत्संग जो है वो भारत से बाहर जाने की बड़ी ज़रूरत है दिस सत्संग नीड्स टू बी डन इन इंग्लिश बिकॉज वी नीड टू रीच आउटसाइड ऑफ इंडिया इट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट जो ज्ञान हमें हिंदी में मिल रहा है वो बहुत महत्वपूर्ण है और उसकी वैल्यू भी बहुत ज़्यादा है द नॉलेज वी आर गेटिंग इन द सत्संग इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड द पीपल दो लिव आउट साइड ऑफ इंडिया नीड दिस नॉलेज डेस्परेटली भारत में शायद इस ज्ञान की ज़्यादा ज़रूरत हमें है नहीं क्योंकि भारत में हम ज़्यादा उन्नत सोच नहीं रखते इन इंडिया वी डू नॉट नीड दिस नॉलेज वेरी मच बट आउट साइड ऑफ इंडिया पीपल लिविंग आउट साइड ऑफ इंडिया दे नीड इट डेस्परेटली इन इंडिया वी डू नॉट वैल्यू दिस नॉलेज एंड वी डू नॉट यू नो प्रमोट दिस नॉलेज दिस इज नॉट टूडेज हैबिट ये आज की आदत नहीं है हमारी ये हमारी सदियों की आदत है कई सौ वर्षों की आदत है बट सम हाउ दिस नॉलेज हैज़ ट्रेवल्ड बियॉन्ड सीज बिकॉज ऑफ फ्यू पीपल हु डेयर टू ट्रेवल डेयर टू टेक रिस्क डेयर टू टेक दिस इनिशिएटिव ऑफ धर्मा आउट साइड ऑफ इंडिया गुरुदेव ने कहा था कि अमेरिका में जाकर विवेकानंद ने प्रचार किया विवेकानंद के अलावा और योगानंद के अलावा कोई वहाँ गया नहीं और जो गया उसने इसे पेटेंट करवा लिया मुक्तानंद जी भी गए पर उन्होंने सिद्धियों को पेटेंट ही करवा लिया बीमारी पेटेंट एक बीमारी है द पीपल दोज who traveled for this knowledge outside of india very few yogananda and vivekananda muktananda also traveled outside of india but the disciple of muktananda they they, they made a patent on siddh yoga even the name of the siddh yoga is been copyrighted in america you cannot use this name such a pity on those disciples that they do not know this knowledge cannot be caged or can be restricted by copywriting it this is a disease in india mein to ye bimari hai bahar bhi ye bimari bahut zyada hai so what we can do very few people those who acquire this knowledge with the grace of the guru they must take this responsibility and a charge to take this knowledge outside of india very few people will come across initially i know that but with the time we will succeed take this knowledge to the people those are waiting for this knowledge samay lagega thoda bharat se bahar jane mein is knowledge ko leke lekin sahi samay aayega ki hum un logo tak pahunchenge jo 
اس نالج کا واقعی انتظار کر رہے ہیں سو مائی انٹینشن از ٹو برنگ دا رائٹ پراسپیرٹی اینڈ ڈیولپمنٹ ان انڈیا آن دا پلیسز ویئر وی ورشپ اینڈ وی بلیو شوڈ بی پروموٹیڈ فار دیٹ وی نیڈ منی اینڈ دیٹ ول کم فرام آؤٹ سائڈ آف انڈیا ان انڈیا وی ڈو ناٹ ہیو دیٹ دیٹ از ویری بیٹر ٹروتھ ہمارے پاس بھارت میں اپنے ہی وشواس کو ڈیولپ کرنے کے لیے مٹیریلسٹک چیزیں نہیں ہیں گرودیو نے کہا ہے کہ ہم نے سول کو ڈیولپ کیا ہے مٹیریل کو ڈیولپ نہیں کیا یہ بھارت کی کمزوری ہے اور امریکہ نے مٹیریل کو ڈیولپ کیا لیکن سول کو ڈیولپ نہیں کیا دی ایکسچینج آف مٹیریل مٹیریلسٹک منی اینڈ دا اسپرچولیٹی دی ایکسچینج بٹوین ویسٹ اینڈ ایسٹ مسٹ بی بٹوین دی سول اینڈ دا مٹیریل تھنگ دے ول برنگ اس دا مٹیریلسٹک ڈیولپمنٹ اینڈ دا انڈیا ول ٹیک the spiritual development to the west this is the exchange this is how uh, this work is will be will be completed in india if we gather 200 500 10 10 thousand people we we can never be united on a single point hum log bharat mein kitne bhi log ikatthe ho jaye lekin ek point ko raise nahi kar sakte it is very difficult in india ٹو ریز دا دھرما یہ ہمیشہ سے ہوتا ہے جب بھی دھرم کو کوئی پہچان ملی ہے یا ریز ہوا ہے جیسے اسکان ٹیمپل ہے سوامی نارائن ٹیمپل ہے دے آل آر ریزڈ بائی دا پیپل دوز ہو لیو آؤٹ سائڈ آف انڈیا ہندوستان میں بہت کم لوگ ہیں جو ایسے انیشیٹیوز کو مدد کرتے ہیں پہلے تو لوگ انیشیٹیو لیتے نہیں ڈرتے ہیں ڈرتے اس لیے ہیں کہ اپمان نہ ہو جائے بدنام نہ ہو جائے نیت نہ خراب ہو جائے بھرشٹ نہ ہو جائے یہ سارے جو ڈر ہے نا یہ لگے رہتے ہیں ہندوستان میں کیڑا ہے ڈر کا لیکن جو ویسٹ میں ہے نا وہ بہادر ہے وہ دے آر بریو پیپل ایسا ویویکانند نے بھی کہا تھا کہ دے آر بریو اف یو ڈو سم تھنگ فار دیم دے ول ڈیفینیٹلی ریٹرن وٹ یو نیڈ ٹو ڈیولپ دوز تھنگس سو اٹ از ویری مچ امپورٹنٹ for this knowledge to travel outside of India. So, I tried earlier also. I did it for some time and I really got a very good response from uh, outside of India. They really value this knowledge. But somehow, with the love of Hindi language, I couldn't do it in English earlier. Mujhe, جو ہماری بھارتیہ بھاشا ہے نا ہندی اس سے مجھے سنے ہے پریم ہے اس میں بات کرنا مجھے زیادہ اچھا لگتا ہے تو میں نے آج تک سارے جتنے بھی ستسنگ کیے ہیں وہ ہندی میں پریفر کیے ہیں لیکن یہ میری بات نہیں ہے یا پھر ہم کچھ لوگوں کی بات نہیں ہے ہم پچاس سو لوگوں کی بات نہیں ہے بات ایک بڑے سکیل پہ ہونی چاہیے تو بڑا سکیل ہے تو لینگویج شوڈ بی انٹرنیشنل that is english so i will try to do 3 or 4 days session in english and rest of the sessions for you people in india i know you do not need this knowledge you have your own knowledge you all are very knowledgeable and you are on the right path aap sabke paas knowledge knowledge hai aur aap sab sadhna kar rahe ho gurudev ki aur sabke knowledge andar prakat ho jayegi So we must take this knowledge outside of India. All right? Clear? This initiative, I will repeat again. This is for development. Ke liye main kar raho. It is ne- not any kind of bondage or anything. It is simply for the development purpose. We need money for the development. We need money for the to be in place to continue this satsang these sessions we need money i asked many people in india bahut logo se maine kaha yahan par apne jitne bhi log jude hue hain na maine bahut baar request bhi ki messages bhi dale but it's like begging ye bhig mangne jaisa hai 
भारत में धर्म के लिए काम करना ना भीख मांगने जैसा है भीख मांगनी है तो फिर बड़े स्तर पे मांगो काम तो इसलिए फॉर द डेवलपमेंट परसेस परपस एंड फॉर द सर्वाइवल सर्वाइवल ऑफ दिस सत्संग सेशंस वट जो भी कंडीशन आज मेरे सामने है या जो भी आई है सत्संग में वो शायद इसीलिए आई है कि मैं बाहर निकलूँ कुएँ कुआँ मेढक होता है ना वो कुएँ में रहता है उसे लगता है कि वही सब कुछ है लेकिन बाहर समंदर भी है इसलिए अब मैंने ये सोच लिया पक्का कि आई विल टेक माई अप्रोच आउट साइड ऑफ इंडिया व्हाट्स एवर जो भी हो जाए जैसे भी हो जाए जितना भी हो जो भी कहे कुछ भी कहे कोई फ़र्क नहीं पड़ता मुझे क्योंकि एक बार अब सोच लिया है करना है तो करना ही है फैमिली मेरे साथ है मेरी वाइफ मेरे साथ है मेरा बेटा मेरे साथ है वी हैव टेकन रिस्क एंड आई विल डू इट और मेरे पास गुरुदेव जी की दी हुई नॉलेज है ब्लेसिंग्स भी है इसलिए मैं कर भी सकता हूँ इसलिए मुझे करना भी बट फॉर यू इट इज़ ऑलवेज फ्री इट इज़ ऑलवेज फ्री फॉर यू ऑल आई होप यू वैल्यू दिस ऑल द सत्संग वी हैव डन इज़ वेरी वेरी वैल्यूएबल वेरी वेरी वैल्यूएबल दे आर नॉट जस्ट सत्संग और जस्ट नॉट एनी थिंग आई हैव रेड आउट फ्रॉम द बुक्स मैंने कुछ भी किताबी ज्ञान नहीं बोला है कभी भी नहीं बोला आज तक नहीं बोला लोग बोलते हैं किताबी ज्ञान है लेकिन है नहीं सब कुछ इम्पॉर्टेंट है सब कुछ रियल है सब कुछ अंदर से है और बहुत ज़्यादा महत्वपूर्ण है बहुत ज़्यादा महत्वपूर्ण है थ्री लेवल्स में ठीक है तो अभी क्या है कि आई एम डेवलपिंग अ पोर्ट्रेट मैं एक पोर्ट्रेट बनवा रहा हूँ गुरुदेव जी का दिस पोर्ट्रेट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पोर्ट्रेट वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पोर्ट्रेट दिस इज द फर्स्ट एवर पोर्ट्रेट ऑफ कल्की कल्की अवतार का सबसे पहला पोर्ट्रेट है ऐसा पोर्ट्रेट आज तक बना ही नहीं दिखने में बहुत सिंपल होगा दिखने में बिल्कुल सिंपल होगा गुरुदेव जी की तस्वीर आपको दिखेगी लेकिन उसकी जो डिस्क्रिप्शन है वो सिंपल नहीं हो वो बहुत बड़ी चीज़ है बहुत बड़ी चीज़ है आज शायद वैल्यू ना हो उस चीज़ की लेकिन वो बहुत बड़ा काम है तो उस पोर्ट्रेट को बनवाने में भी पैसे लगते हैं एक और कल्की का पोर्ट्रेट है बड़ा बड़ा पोर्ट्रेट है जो 24 नवंबर को आपके सामने आएगा ऑल दैट नीड मनी टू डेवलप इट टू टेक दिस पोर्ट्रेट आउट साइड ऑफ इंडिया इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ये पोर्ट्रेट मैं अपने लिए नहीं बनवा रहा आपके लिए नहीं बनवा रहा ये मैं बना रहा हूँ पूरे आउट साइड ऑफ इंडिया जो अमेरिका है या जो यहूदी हैं या जो भी है उन सब के लिए बना रहा हूँ उस सब के लिए बहुत ज़रूरी पोर्ट्रेट है हमारे लिए कितना महत्व रखता है इससे कोई फ़र्क नहीं पड़ता क्योंकि हमें अगर फ़र्क पड़ता तो हम ऋषि अरविंदों को समझने की कोशिश करते हैं लेकिन जो पोर्ट्रेट आएगा पंद्रह अगस्त को वो पोर्ट्रेट बाइबल पढ़ने वालों के लिए एक बहुत बड़ी खोज की तरह होगा उसकी वैल्यू इतनी ज़्यादा है आने वाले समय में जब वो पोर्ट्रेट लोगों तक पहुंचेगा तो उसकी वैल्यू इतनी ज़्यादा है कि आप उसका अंदाज़ा भी नहीं लगा सकते क्योंकि 2000 साल में आज तक वो पोर्ट्रेट नहीं बना लेकिन उस पोर्ट्रेट को बनाने के लिए भी सहयोग नहीं है मेरे पास क्योंकि वैल्यू नहीं है नॉलेज की इसीलिए दैट्स वाई आई एम नॉट एबल टू पे फॉर दैट पोर्ट्रेट द पोर्ट्रेट इज अंडर वर्क The knowledge is very important to be raised, to be carried on. मैं if I do not carry this knowledge, somebody else will do. But it will take time for someone to 
start this knowledge it will not start immediately for me it took me five rigorous hard working year in siddh yoga i have gone through so much before lifting up this knowledge it is not easy it is not sudden it, this knowledge did not come suddenly अचानक से मुझे ये ज्ञान सब प्राप्त नहीं हुआ जिसपे रोज सत्संग होता है डेली सत्संग होता है आप हफ्ते में एक बार कर सकते हो दो बार कर सकते हो सोच के बट आई एम डूइंग इट डेली विदाउट एनी प्रिपरेशन इट इज नॉट हैपनिंग बाय मेरक्कल इट इज हैपनिंग विद द ग्रेस ऑफ द गुरु दैट मीन्स दिस नॉलेज इज ट्रमेंडस आउटस्टैंडिंग एंड दिस इज कमिंग फ्रॉम द रियल सोर्स ऑफ गुरु this need to be uplifted ye knowledge ko uthana bahut zaruri hai maine main agar satsang nahi karta apni family problems dekhunga ek choti si naukri pakad lu 50 60 hazar ki naukri pakad lu utni maine chhodi thi utni mujhe mil jayegi company aaj bhi agar jaunga to aaj bhi mujhe welcome kar legi par 50 60 hazar pe ke liye i cannot सेक्रीफाइस द नॉलेज मेरे बीवी बच्चे पल जाएंगे पचास साठ हजार में बहुत होते हैं एक आम फैमिली के लिए साधारण सी फैमिली के लिए पचास साठ हजार बहुत है इट्स इनफ फिफ्टी सिक्सटी थाउजेंड इज इनफ फॉर द फैमिली टू सर्वाइव बट सेक्रीफाइजिंग द नॉलेज फॉर द फिफ्टी सिक्सटी थाउजेंड इज नॉट इनफ दिस इज वेरी डेंजरस और वेरी बेटर ट्रूथ फॉर अस टू नो दैट वी आर नॉट यूनाइटेड वी आर यू ना सेग्रीगेटेड इन द डिफरेंट सेक्टर्स हम लोग एक साथ नहीं है हम लोग पार्ट्स में डिवाइडेड है छोटे छोटे ग्रुप्स में बटे हुए हैं किसी का ग्रुप है कोई कुछ बोल रहा है किसी का ग्रुप है कुछ है कोई किसकी निंदा करता है एवरी बडी इज यू नो बैक बाइटिंग अदर पर्सन इट इज इट इज वट वट इज द रियलिटी ऑफ आर फैमिली वी आर we cannot depend on each other we cannot raise this entire mission as a one somebody else is raising separately this mission is this somebody is raising separately this mission is this this mission so this is this is you know very dangerous dangerous act and for us to come together we all need to be need, all need to have this knowledge of oneness सर्व खल विदम ब्रह्म जो है ना वो वननेस को बोलता है वो एक को सपोर्ट दूसरे को सपोर्ट करता है पुल डाउन नहीं करते वी डू वट वी डू वी पुल डाउन पीपल ईच अदर सो आई हैव ट्राइड माई बेस्ट फॉर द लास्ट टू एंड हाफ ईयर्स दो से ढाई साल में मैंने बहुत कोशिश की है अपनी तरफ से मैंने कभी भी किसी से विरोध नहीं किया फ्रॉम माई साइड आई हैव नेवर ऑब्जेक्टेड एनी बडी आई हैव नेवर क्रिटिसाइज एनी बडी फ्रॉम माई साइड फर्स्ट and i never pulled down anybody from my side i tried my best to be in a harmony with everyone in uh, india in our family but it is not possible to lift uh, this knowledge uh, in group of some people those who are around it is very much needed outside it will take me maybe to bring up 100 english people or 100 people living outside of india इट विल टेक मी मे बी इट माई टेक मी टेन ईयर्स आप जितने भी लोग प्रोग्राम देख रहे हो ना पाँच सौ लोग देखते होंगे रिकॉर्डेड वगैरह सब मिला के सौ लोग इकट्ठा करने के लिए जो बाहर से होंगे मुझे दस साल लग जाएंगे हंड्रेड पीपल टू ब्रिंग टू 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 गो टू द हंड्रेड पीपल टू यूनाइट विद हंड्रेड पीपल आउट साइड ऑफ इंडिया इट इट माई टेक मी टेन ईयर्स एंड इट विल बी वेरी हार्ड टाइम so if i start today only then those 100 i can reach just to connect just to connect with them that this is the real knowledge we want to give this knowledge to you we want to give this knowledge to you you come to india you develop us what we have is the knowledge take this knowledge benefit yourself and develop the dharma in india इंडिया हिंदुस्तान में जो धर्म को डेवलप करेंगे जो इस ज्ञान को उठाने में मदद करेंगे ना वो विदेशी होंगे 
क्योंकि उनको नॉलेज है इस चीज़ का मैंने पढ़ा था विवेकानंद को गुरुदेव को मैंने सुना कि भारत में धर्म विवेकानंद को भी मैंने सुना कि धर्म बचा हुआ है सिर्फ भारत में लेकिन भारत उसे उठा नहीं पा रहा उठाने के लिए स्पोर्ट चाहिए पश्चिम की इसीलिए पश्चिम जब कहेगा आके आप सबसे विदेश से आएंगे और आपको कहेंगे कि ये ये नॉलेज है ये रियल नॉलेज है एंड यू आर नॉट स्पोर्टिंग इट यू आर लुकिंग एट ये दूसरी तरह से देख रहे हो आज लोग क्या सोचते हैं हम जब थोड़ा पैसा जुगाड़ करते हैं ना इकट्ठा करते हैं कोई काम करने के लिए तो लोग कहते हैं वो पैसा मांग रहा है वो पैसा खा रहा है समाधि के लिए गुरुदेव के समाधि के लिए कोई मांग लेना तो वो पूरा परिवार बदनाम कर देते हैं गुरुदेव का कि उनका उनके परिवार पैसा मांग रहा है ये पैसा मांग रहा है ये पैसा मांग रहा है तो यहाँ पर लोगों की जो मानसिकता है ना वो पैसे में अटक गई है उनको सिर्फ पैसा ही पैसा ही दिखता हर काम में पैसा दिखता ये मानसिकता है और ये मानसिकता नहीं है ये बीमारी है इसीलिए कोई गुरु भाई उठ के रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ले ही नहीं सकता नो सिंगल पर्सन कैन स्टैंड एंड टेक द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टेक द चार्ज फॉर द डेवलपमेंट बिकॉज इट इन्वॉल्व ट्रांजेक्शन ऑफ मनी एंड एवरीबडी इज अफ्रेड ऑफ इंसल्ट द थिंक दे विल बी ब्लेम्ड इफ समथिंग हैपन्स टू द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ द मनी हेयर एंड देयर दे विल बी ब्लेम्ड एंड देयर प्रोग्रेस विल स्टॉप स्पिरिचुअल इट विल नॉट हैपन नथिंग विल हैपन इफ यू आर ट्रू टू योर गुरु मनी इज नथिंग मनी इज नथिंग फॉर टू रेज द धर्म टू रेज द नॉलेज टू रेज द सत्संग मनी इज नथिंग इट इज लाइक एन आयरन गुरुदेव टोल्ड दिस इट इज इफ समबडी गिव्स यू आयरन इफ समबडी गिव्स यू मनी इन एक्सचेंज ऑफ धर्म इट्स लाइक ट्रेडिंग गोल्ड विद द आयरन इट इज ट्रूथ बट वी हैव टू डू इट वी हैव टू टेक आर गोल्ड टू आउट साइड बिकॉज हेयर we do not have value for this gold with very heavy heart uh, i have realized this truth a single person a single person from outside of india he is a muslim not hindu single handedly for 14 to 15 months made me survive to do this session do this satsang single person outside of india and doesn't understand hindi maine hindi mein session kiye 1.5 saal tak usko support karne wala jo vyakti hai wo hindi samajhta nahi hai gurudev ka shishya hai hindi samajhta nahi hai lekin knowledge samajhta hai 14 sessions english ke dekhe usne english ke 14 session dekhe sirf और उसने मुझे मैसेज किया कि ये जो सेशन है ना ये बहुत हेल्पफुल है बहुत मददगार है इससे मुझे बहुत मदद मिली उन चौदह सेशंस को मैंने शुरू में शुरू किया था 2020 की बात है ये उन चौदह सेशंस को देखने के बाद उसने डेढ़ साल तक चौदह से पंद्रह महीने तक अकेले ने सपोर्ट किया और मैंने उसके लिए कुछ भी नहीं किया एक भी सेशन नहीं किया इंग्लिश में जो भी किए थोड़े बहुत किए बस लेकिन कुछ नहीं किया डिसकनेक्ट हो गया वो थोड़ा सा बट वो कर रहा है अपना साधना कर रहा है लेकिन नॉलेज से डिस्कनेक्ट हो गया और लास्ट तीन महीने जब वो नहीं कर पाया लास्ट तीन महीने मैंने पहले एक आप सबसे कहा था कि सपोर्ट करो इस चीज को सपोर्ट करो सत्संग को सपोर्ट करो दस हजार रुपये भी महीने के इकट्ठे नहीं होते हिंदुस्तान में सौ लोग मिलकर उल्टा चैनल अलग से बंद कर दिया चैनल अलग से बंद कर दिया जोधपुर आश्रम ने माय माय चैनल चैनल विच वाज सच अ प्रेस्टिजियस एंड नॉलेजेबल चैनल वाज ब्लॉक्ड पुट डाउन बाय जोधपुर आश्रम जस्ट बिकॉज आई वाज रेजिंग मनी और उस चैनल से कितना आता मैक्सिमम एक साल का नौ सौ रुपये एंड इट वाज सच अ क्राइम टू रेज द मनी टू सरवाइव और ये क्राइम है हिंदुस्तान में धर्म को उठाना एक क्राइम है ये जो सत्संग होते हैं ना दिस सेशंस आई एम डूइंग इट इज नॉट ओनली सेवन टू एट पीएम इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट इट नीड्स योर एंटायर कंसंट्रेशन योर माइंड 
एट वन पॉइंट इट माइंड माइंड नीड नॉट टू वंडर एवरीवेयर मुझे वहां जाना है मुझे वहां जाना आई डू नॉट गो एवरीवेयर होल डे आई स्टे एट होम आई वेट आई स्लीप आई रीड आई अंडरस्टैंड बट वेन आई सीट इन द सेशन समथिंग एल्स है This is not an ordinary satsang. This is not an ordinary sessions and knowledge. This must be uplifted. If you can't do it all together, somebody else will do. And in whichever language they like it, I'll learn that language. I'll do that in language. So I have decided three days. At least three days I must give them. and rest for this it's free for you free for all every one of you enjoy it all right clear okay so today's session i am starting today's session it is in english okay so uh, today's session is uh, you know the, we uh, we are doing siddh yog gurudev shri ram lal ji syag he give us initiation in siddh yoga siddh yog uh, the name of the siddh means siddh yog means the empowered yoga empowered means something which is which is having a prana or which is living or something which can initiate you in the same manner which it is already in the state of enlightenment so siddh yog means enlightenment or the uh, something which is empowered has a light or the power which can uh, like uh, uh, initiate something which is uh, asleep or which is something which is dormant and if you come in contact with something it enlightens you it awakens you so siddh means empowered awakening enlightened and uh, moreover the siddh yoga means the maha yoga that means this yoga contains every other yoga in it like kriya yoga sahaj yog hatha yog lay yog raj yog all other yogas are included in this yoga this is the siddh yog maha yog raj yog it, we also call it raj yog and we also call it kundalini yoga kundalini why we call it kundalini yoga because siddh yoga when gurudev initiate you into the siddh yoga he gives you the mantra sanjeevani mantra it's a three words mantra sacred word of radha and krishna it awakens a dormant power in you which is called the kundalini so kundalini what kundalini does in actually kundalini unblock of unblock the path on which your conscious or the chetna travels like i have a knowledge or the conscious at certain level when my knowledge or the conscious will go beyond uh, to the maybe into the subconscious or the deeper conscious what it will do it it cannot go into the deeper conscious on its own because the path is blocked with my karmic bondages so what kundalini will do what mantra will do the mantra will will, will give power to the kundalini to unblock the path so when the block when the path will be unblocked the chetna the conscious will deep will travel deep into the deeper conscious where all the all kind of secrets or the knowledge or who am i from where i am coming and uh, the detailed knowledge about myself about the supreme about the guru about everything is you will find on the path of consciousness we call it the path of chetna chetna ka path in hindi we call it chetna ka path in english we can call it the path of the consciousness the path of the consciousness from the lower conscious to the higher conscious or the deeper conscious so rishi arvindo has defined this consciousness on the level of the mind lower mind then higher mind luminous mind enlightened mind and the super mind so he has his own uh, definition about the transformation of the mind it is the same thing as we say it in the kundalini yoga or the siddh yoga that we ascend towards the deeper conscious or the higher level of the mind so this siddha yoga once you take the initiation from the gurudev shri ram lal ji syag 
your journey starts with the help of kundalini it continues till the end and the, what is the end end is the moksha the liberation final liberation liberation means you are free from the bondage of life and death you will not have to take birth again due to the karmic bondages you are free from the karmic bondages so this yoga serves the purpose of settlement of your karmic bondages there are three type of karmic bondages mental bondages physical bondages and spiritual bondages spiritual bondages when we are born at a certain date or the time we see the horoscope and we see our planets are placed in a certain position due to which our career is defined our problems marriage and everything is defined and we can find out with the good knowledge of astrology palmistry numerology with the date of the birth and the numbering system that what is our life how it will go so the problems we face during our life Uh, can be uh, three types of problems as i said the bondages due to the bondages karmic bondages those three problems will be removed or will be cured the diseases we call it diseases these diseases will be cured while you are doing this sadhana or doing this siddha yoga so any problem in your life generally from the three departments three quarters physical mental and spiritual these all problems can be solved in the synth yoga you need not to do anything else anything any remedy you need not to do like somebody do the remedy wearing a stone doing some kind of rituals yagya or any kind once you do the synth yoga you chant the divine mantra you need not to do any kind of remedies or any other kind of uh, you know type of uh, sort sort of things you need to do to evade of evil things or you feel the negative energy and all these things you need to do some kind of yagya and anything you need to need, you need not to do any kind of anything even somebody if you somebody says your house is haunted maybe your horoscope is haunted maybe uh, you have some bad evil eye on you that is why you are suffering in your life so all these negative energies which we cannot see which we cannot handle and we do not have any kind of knowledge about it so even in that case we call it the spiritual problems in actual devic problem so even somebody is suffering from these kind of problems if he recite or chant this mantra gurudev sanjeevani mantra he can get rid of these kind of negative problems if you are suffering from any kind of physical problems physical diseases you chant this mantra and you have to take your regular medicines also because siddha yoga never ask you to stop the medications because medication also helps to get rid of the diseases but when you do the chanting mental chanting of the mantra it helps you to get rid of the disease so you must keep keep taking your medicines also so you sh- you should not stop it all right and third is third problem is the mental problems the major problem the most of the population is suffering from the mental problem is the thought process is the depression depression is a very common cause of all other problems all the lifestyle problems are due to the mental problems we think a lot we worry a lot about it. so when we do this chanting and do meditation for two times in a day for the 15 minutes our mind gets calmed down so if our mind is stable and calm then we get rid of mental problems slowly so first problem which is been if you are suffering from any evil eye or any kind of spiritual problems that will be resolved firstly and if you are not suffering from spiritual diseases if you are su- suffering from mental disease or physical disease the first thing is the mind to be calmed down so first your mental problem will be solved then your physical problems will be solved many people feel that you know their problems physical problems is not been solved and they raise the question against gurudev that i am chanting this mantra i am doing meditation but i am not cured with my physical diseases it might be fake it does not work like that in actual when we say it cures all the diseases it does not tell you that this siddha yoga is to cure your problems only siddha yoga primarily does not cure your diseases it primarily liberates you from the karmic bondages so all the problems we have is due to the karmic bondages it is not that it will evade you or free you from the particular disease one by one you have you know uh, sugar so first let's remove the sugar 
then you have a back pain problem let's remove the back problem now you have a mental problem ocd let's remove the ocd you have evil eye on you negative energy let's remove it does not work like that it does not uh, free you from the particular disease it free you from the karmic bondage by which you are having a trouble if you having a sugar disease that is due to the, your karmic bondage so it will not remove the sugar it will remove the karma so removing that karma how much time does it take is a separate thing but to remove that karma is that means to surrender that karma to the gurudev but this is a deeper philosophy we do not reach to that philosophy of working style of siddha yoga we just think that sugar is not curing i do not know what is the reason of my sugar what is the karma i have done because of that i have got sugar so first what gurudev will do i have to surrender to the gurudev with full faith i have to bow down to him i have to respect him pay him the respect it does not matter how much time does it take but the point is he will take off or he will uh, help me to get rid of that karma so what he how he does how he free us from the diseases he free us from the karmic bondages so it takes time it is not the single karma we are facing some some disease if we are facing uh, facing it does not mean that the single karma is causing that disease it might be the 10 different karmas by which i am facing particular problem i have a back problem spondylitis it not it might not be a single karma so i might have a 10 to 15 karma associated and giving me the combined result as a as a back problem so what guru will do guru will not evade this problem guru will do guru will somehow hold that problem so it will not separate spread or it will not hurt you uh, in the future it might go up and down up and down all right so what kundalini will do what this mantra will do it will free you from the bondage so this is how it works so we cannot blame gurudev that my disease is not cured many people on the internet they uh, after doing it for the two years one and half year even the two months or three months participants uh, disciples uh, they start arguing that this is not happening that is not happening because they do not know the philosophy and the science of the siddha yoga it is a science once gurudev said when i went to the west when gurudev went to the west people said science is god then gurudev said you are you are you are calling it wrong you are understanding it wrong it's not the truth science is not god god is science because god who made the human then human discovered the science human did not made the science human discovered the science science was already there so first science is being we are the human our body is the science so this siddha yoga how does it work it is a very scientific process so when we ask gurudev to remove our uh, our problems our diseases it's not as simple at, as it looks during the prayers so we call it do the prayers to the gurudev for the uh, for the removal of the problems and all but somehow it is it does not work like that for him okay so siddha yoga what it does it it free us from the bondages due to which we are suffering so finally when siddha yoga remove the first remove the diseases the karmic bondages causing the diseases after that it start removing the other karmas also by which we might be benefiting but with the wrong way so our path starts changing this is called the changes in the change in the lifestyle so now this particular thing is been mentioned in the patanjali ashtang yoga been we call it in hindi jati parivartan jati means the gurudev says the human is of three kind of jati three kind of people in this world man is of three kind first tamasic the negative people rajasic the working workolic people and the first is satvik the positive people so satvik rajasic and tamasic these three kind of people these three i the caste we call the jati jati mean the type of the people not the caste type type of the people so what happens the superior level is the satvik people the positive people the people those are negative will start transforming into the rasik rasik will start transforming into the satvik and the satvik will transform into the non type 
means free from the type of the man so he will not be under the control of these three gunas we also call it the guna satvik gun rasi gun and tamsi gun so the person will be free from the effect of the guna guna make us do work how we do some work is depending upon the guna if we do something with the positive mind satvik gun if we do something with the benefit or exchange of something rasi gun to survival instinct and for the tamsik is uh, when something we do with the greed or something with the uh, uh, with uh, with our own benefits with our body we our attachment is to our body only to our self only to make us selfish so once we are removed from the bondages which causing the disease we start the transforming now if a disciple surrender to the guru dev and do not question it on the way that gurudev my disease is not getting cured you do it on your own pace i am just surrender to you it does not matter that i get cured first or my transformation happens first gurudev takes a call so the transformation of a person from negative to positive and positive to the beyond of these three types of uh, gunas happens simultaneously because the bodily diseases are caused majorly by the tamoguna because it is attachment to the body tamoguna is attached to the body if you are released you are free from the tamsik guna automatically the bodily disease will be slowly slowly removed all right so these three gunas causing are the different problems even the satvik guna causes us the problem we call it the ego when we do something with the um, with the mind of that we are doing something for the betterment of somebody or we have helped somebody we raised somebody we did this for the country we did that and that when we t- start taking the credit for the good work also that creates the ego so ego is also a problem so when transformation happen all the types of the transformation is been completed you are free from every kind of thought process people say the point where we get the enlightenment is the point when we are thoughtless thoughtless is thoughtless is not the point of uh, the samadhi it is being the state of the free from the bondages of all the karmas thoughtless what i do what i feel best at that time i do that all right so this is the very basic information about siddh yoga how does it work because if you are new and you come in the contact with gurudev somebody says you all your diseases will go off and after certain time chanting the mantra and doing the meditation you feel that my diseases are, are still there and you said it will be gone off you might lose the interest in siddh yoga but you must know the philosophy and the scientific reason how the siddh yoga works once you get gurudev that means it is the permanent cure it is the final path of the ascension it will liberate not only you from the diseases but it will liberate you from the circle of life and death so siddh yoga is the final path final initiation gurudev says it this initiation is a final after this initiation you need not do any kind of initiation you need not to do any kind of any uh, any kind of you know uh, uh, separate things to ascend in the spirituality you have you have not to do anything it's done you just chant this mantra and sit for the meditation for the 15 minutes all right when you start meditation and you, when you start chanting the mantra it is not something it, it it this path is not the black path or the path of the darkness that you are doing for some time and you cannot analyze yourself do not depend upon the anubhutis during the meditation you might have some kind of anubhutis feelings or some kind do not depend upon those things i saw the light i saw the snake i saw something or maybe i felt something in my back these all kind of you know um, during the meditation uh, you come across these kind of experiences there are million type of experiences if you will try to find the meaning of the every feeling or whatever you saw in in the thing, if you saw in the meditation if you will try to find those things it will waste your time so you need not to waste your time for the what you see in the meditation what is the main thing to track 
your progress the main thing to track your progress is your behavior see the change in yourself the real mirror of your practice your sadhana is your behavior your character is your character changing you cannot change the world but if you change from inside the world will change from the outside this is the basic so when you start meditation when you walk on the path of the siddhi yoga you must remember the actual progress can be traced with the character your character nothing else whatever you saw during the meditation somebody tells you oh you saw the light you have reached to the agya chakra oh you are feeling this you saw this and that thing you reached here crown chakra and after some time you feel depressed you say oh i am not feeling that kind of energy for the some time what happens i came down from the crown chakra or the agya chakra so till you have a question about your progress understand you are just a child in the in the sadhana in the practice the day will come when your answers will come from within every answer till then do the chanting do the regular practice a regular practice sitting in the meditation is very important why very important because when you are doing the sadhana what is the ultimate goal is to get into the samadhi and samadhi means this is your body it is getting unite with the supreme what is supreme what is supreme supreme is this nature we called it prakriti nature this night happens then day happens the sun rises sun sets moon rises moon set there are different kind of seasons there is winter there is autumn there is summer so there are different re- different seasons every time we know that this season will come now this is the rainy season this is autumn how do we know because this is into the rhythm this nature is already is in the samadhi with the supreme so we are ascending to unite with the supreme so how we reach to the samadhi nearest to us is what nature so when we do the meditation on a fixed timing a regular meditation regular chanting continuous chanting first we get into the rhythm with the nature it's like you know uh, launching a satellite suppose we are launching a satellite to the to the somewhere very far away so what we'll do we we need a direction right we need a direction of the pluto so when we will set the satellite from here we will not direct set it to the pluto what we'll do we will send it to the uh, to the moon means on the outer orbit of the moon so satellite will go from here and go into the orbit of the moon so once we know the direction if we give a push from here ignite ignition from the here because they have two or three or five ignitions during the uh, uh, during the flight of the satellite so first ignition they do on the earth it reaches to the moon second ignition they will do again when they give the direction to the next planet nearby planet or the direction wherever they want to send it so the ignition they will go when they will see the direction the moon is at the right place if we give the ignition right now it will leave the orbit of the moon and will go directly towards the, that particular planet or wherever we want to send it so what is happening we need to bring it into the rhythm to ascend forward further so first we are not into the rhythm of the nature because when we feel hot what we do we switch on the ac <laughs> when we feel the cold we switch on the heater and there are a lot of things when we do not have light we switch on the light we make it a day so we are now very far away from the nature so first the meditation the regular meditation 
the continuous meditation what will how it will help it will help you to come in the contact with the nature so your transformation in your body will happen according to the nature you feel heat you will feel heat at times you will feel cold at times you feel many kind of different kind of uh, exercises which we call the yoga it will happen slowly your pranayam will happen so first thing to come in the contact with nature it will happen automatically you need not to do it what you need to do is chanting the mantra sitting the meditation at the fixed time like we do what we do we sitting for the meditation 6:30 in the morning 6:30 in the evening continuous for the two and two years almost two years two and a half year i guess so it made us drift really faster towards the association towards the nature so this is all science exactly science but it is not a miracle somebody tells you about guru siyak siddha yoga it will cure you it will raise you it will this do this and that that somebody few people come uh, there are siddhis there are powers we get power to transcend things power to go um, invisible power to travel at some other pa- some other places going out of the body this is all happens but we cannot target these things what should be our target our target should be the co- uh, regular meditation and the continuous mantra jap so that we come in the contact of the nature then from the nature we go beyond to with the ultimate source supreme to get the samadhi with the supreme then the final transformation happens and how you track your uh, sadhana this is there is another method first is your behavior your character it will change second thing how you track it once you start chanting the mantra seriously after 15 20 days gurudev says you will feel the ajapa jap the term ajapa jap is again a science science means it will start on the auto mode within inside you you will feel the mantra is on the continuous mode like you are singing a song favorite song and you feel the song is still you know in the loop in my mind something is in the loop going on you feel that right this is called the ajapaja the mantra will be in the loop but the song you feel in the loop is in the mind which will go away after you shift your attention or after some time it will go away but the sanjeevani mantra as i said is the empowered mantra the song which was in the loop is not empowered but the mantra this is the sanjeevani mantra which gurudev ramlal ji sya gives you is the empowered mantra the, there is no difference between the mantra and the gurudev himself mantra itself is gurudev it is enlightened so when you chant that enlightened mantra this is like a sparkle and you have everything in you you have a candle you have everything in india we call it a you know lamp we have a lamp we have oil and everything we have we just need a light to enlight our lamp similarly you have everything this enlightening mantra is like a sparkle it will go inside you 14 15 14 15 14 15, 15 days continuously do it with serious devotion and you will feel that this is on the continuous mode now till you live this mantra will be on how you will know this mantra is going on suppose you wake up during midnight you are thirsty or you want to go to the loo you will feel the mantra is chanting you did not recall it to chant it but you start chanting it how it came because it was already going in going on similarly there are many instances you will feel it you are doing meditation and somehow you wander into the some thoughts process when you come back to the realization that i was doing the meditation you will feel the chanting was going on that is also the ajapaja there was a very important uh, uh, topic uh, uh, that says you know we know there are seven kind of people uh, in the world there are seven people like me in the world have you heard this kind of where are those seven kind of people you know that they are within seven layers of my own 
sheath we call it sheath seven sheaths so when we sit in the meditation you know who blocks us to reach the higher level it's me who stops myself for ascending because i have seven layers of my own first layer is the body i have any kind of problem in my body my legs are aching my head is aching i cannot sit for the meditation so me being a body stopping myself if my body is all right i am sitting it's all right then comes my prana prana which because of which i am breathing the air system within us the air circulation within us there are different kind of air 10 kinds of air five major pranas apan vyan saman udan so second is what is prana it is associated with our relationships i am somebody's daughter i am somebody's father i am somebody's uncle what will be happening with them what will be happening with him oh my shop is open did i close it oh that is happening so second me is the prana which is stopping myself going into the deeper meditation third me is the mind means there are illogical things are going on something something which does not exist in reality but you are into the deep thought of something which is which did not happen or which might be you thinking will happen in the future which is which doesn't have any kind of a reality or the ground is called the mental thoughts so third me which is stopping myself to ascend is mind fourth me is the knowledge now the during the meditation many questions will arise how this happens how that happens and you will start finding the solutions for those problems and you will slowly you'll start finding the solutions also during meditations but it is the blockage it is the fourth me knowledge me fifth is bliss blissful me oh i am in such a good state i am so happy sitting in the meditation but i am in a blissful state the bliss also stops the progress <laughs> in the meditation it doesn't let me go into the deeper meditation i feel good just i i just without any reason i am i am happy i am good that is bliss me this is fifth me sixth is the chit we call it the chit chit in hindi in english what we should call it the entire world is created with the three gunas satvik rasik and tamasik these three guna together is called the chit this is from the first element super element we call it the super element that come from the shakti the prakriti first thing is created is the maha chit these three guna everything is created with the three gunas my body mind everything is created with this so so for the sixth me is the chit that my creation is been done start has been done so chit stops me then it purifies from the impure chit to the pure chit we call it bliss becoming becoming and being so being is the seventh but before being there is becoming that i am transforming chit which is the transformation actual transformation which happens is of sixth me so that is a sixth layer which stops me going into the final yoga unity and the seventh me is the truth and when i realize the truth i am uniting with the one myself so when when somebody you know used to say there are seven people like me in the world that world is not outside that world is inside and those seven me's are physical me prana prana me mind knowledge bliss becoming and being so when i sit for the meditation even for the first time the first thing stops me oh i cannot sit properly <laughs> second thing is my relationships my attachment my bondages to the different people third thing is my mind my mind is wandering to the illogical things then my knowledge stops me then my bliss stop me then my transformation stops me then comes the truth finally ascension so that is the atman so the ultimate thing which is 
आत्मन और द सुप्रीम इज द अल्टीमेट ट्रुथ सो वेयर इज वेयर वेयर इज द सुप्रीम वेयर एवर द ट्रुथ इज सुप्रीम इज देयर इट इज ऑलवेज देयर ट्रुथ वॉज ऑलवेज देयर वेन आई डिट नो इट वेन आई नो इट वेन आई एम नोइंग इट इट इज ऑलवेज देयर सो गॉड इज ऑलवेज अराउंड अस इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ट्रुथ सो द सर्च इज ऑफ ट्रुथ माई सेल्फ द सेवंथ द ट्रुथ सो इट इज द सर्च ऑफ माई ऑन द ट्रू सेल्फ द वन एंड द ओनली सो दिस इज हाउ द मेडिटेशन प्रोग्रेस इज दैट इज वाई वी सिट फॉर द मेडिटेशन डेली सो द प्रॉब्लम्स वी कम अक्रॉस ड्यूरिंग द मेडिटेशन यू नीड नॉट टू वरी अबाउट इट ऑ ओनली थॉट प्रोसेस इज गोइंग ऑन आई कैनॉट सिट फॉर द मेडिटेशन आई सिट फॉर टू मिनट्स एंड द थॉट्स कम्स दिस एंड दैट हैपन्स यू नीड नॉट टू वरी अबाउट दैट बिकॉज दैट इज नॉट आउटसाइड दैट इज यू योर ऑन यू हैव क्रिएटेड इट सो यू कैन बाई पास ऑल्सो योर सेल्फ ऑल राइट सो आई थिंक दैट इज गुड फॉर टूडे एंड आई होप यू हैव द बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ सिद्ध योगा वॉट इट इज हाउ डज इट वर्क ऑन द डिसीजेज कार्मिक बॉन्डेजेज एंड वट हैपन्स ड्यूरिंग द मेडिटेशन वन मोर थिंग एज अ पज आप After 15-20 days, you feel the continuous cycle of Ajapa Jab, the mantra in you for the lifetime. But beyond that, there is another state, which is called the Anhat Nada, the internal sound, which you know as a tinnitus. The voice is coming from any of the ear, or both of the ear. You go to the doctor. Doctor will check your hearing power. He'll say your hearing hearing power is decreasing, and in five to seven years, you'll go dumb. sometimes it is not that because doctors do not know it there is a problem tinnitus is a disease but the people those are on the path of the spirituality kind of some sacred chanting or a sacred path spiritual path they start hearing this sound people uh, misunderstand this as a tinnitus we'll talk on this tomorrow okay we'll understand how we identify it is internal sound and it is not the tinnitus i have made 5 uh, 7 ses- five sessions on this topic small 10 minutes each you will find it in the english sessions so if you watching this session you think you have the tinnitus or the internal sound that is his sound the parbrahm sound anadana the spiritual sound which takes you further into the deeper conscious for the unite unite to unite to the supreme if it is that so five Uh, you just search in on this channel what is anadnad and uh, you you can also search difference between anadnad and tinnitus what is, what is the benefit of internal sound oh sorry internal sound you write what is internal sound difference between internal sound and tinnitus and benefits of the internal sound on this channel you will find these five sessions 10 minutes each you can watch that also if you are watching this session all right so tomorrow is saturday tomorrow we will we will meet at 8 uh, 7 pm for the english session and if you want to join the meditations then join at 6 20 25 fifteen minutes of meditation but we keep the time between 6:30 to 7 pm all right so tomorrow morning first we will meet with everyone tomorrow morning at 6:30 for the meditation only in the morning indian standard time we do only the meditation in the morning in the evening we do the meditation and this satsang we call it the satsang sat mean the truth sang mean to be in the company so be in the company of the truth we call it the satsang so we do it every day 7 pm usually we do uh, used to do it in hindi but now we'll do it english in 3 days friday saturday and sunday all right so see you tomorrow at 6:30 am ist jai shri gurudev jai shri gurudev